And today and tomorrow, we'll get reports on inflation. And for more on why we feel so much worse about prices and the data seems to indicate, we're joined now by Jill Sessinger from CBSMoneyWatch.com. She's live in New York. Good morning, Jill. Morning. Good morning. So consumers complain about prices, but economists say the inflation isn't that much of a problem. Hmm. So help us make sense of what exactly is going on here. I call this segment, you are not crazy, okay? <laughs> you are not crazy. Here's the deal. You know, according to the data, prices are up just about 3% from a year ago. And when you take out food and energy, they're up 2.2%. The thing is that those figures include these big one-time purchases, and those can skew the numbers. So we have some researchers that have tried to measure prices, stripping out the big stuff, like a house or furniture or appliances. And so they focus on the day-to-day -day basics, food, gas, child care prescription drugs, all that stuff. We call it the Everyday Price Index. And guess what? You are not crazy. It's up 8% from a year ago, and that is what is shaking consumers right now. Okay, well, it's shaking consumers, but the Federal Reserve seems unfazed by inflation. Why is that? Oh, boy. Because Ben Bernanke, he's a cool dude, right? And uh, he says that the rise in energy prices that's boosting all these other prices is temporary. And, you know, when they look at these things, they say, well, if it's temporary, we're not going to react to it. And the Fed also emphasizes that while we feel the pain of those daily items, they only make up less than 40% of the average household budget. Now, here's the thing. Most economists say rampant inflation, not a problem today, but we could see a big jump in prices over the next couple of years. And to prepare for that on MoneyWatch.com, we have six ways to protect yourself against rising inflation. Hey, guys, you know what? I had a lot of producers in TV land saying to me, people don't care about this topic. I think they do. So go to the website and prove them wrong. There we go. You got it, Jill. <laughs> hey, and Jill, by the Take way, you're care. right. Ben Bernanke is a pretty cool guy. He's actually on Twitter also. Ah, oh, there so. we go. Oh, yeah, exactly. How you know, cool and, and if, if you follow him, you're probably going to get a lot of really neat stuff. But not not most people would think it's neat, but I think it's neat. All right. <laughs> well, we're with you, Jill. Thanks so much. Have a good day. All right. Take care. You. Take care.